Going on swing traders today, I got a stock for you. PW is a ticker symbol, and this stock is a different way of thinking about getting into the marijuana industry. Kind of reminds me of the McDonald's movie a little bit. Stock has a very low float. PW does have a dividend. Been running up for about a week, and it just had a nice little pullback today. So enough of this mumbo jambo stuff. Let's get right into this PW stock. <laughs> So PW has already started acquiring cannabis properties and it has 1.8 million shares outstanding right now. And this article right here says it floats 1.2 million, but I'm going to double check that. So what PW basically does is they own real estate. They also own real estate for railroads and solar properties. And they just recently announced that they're going to focus on cannabis properties as well. So this is what's going on right now. You're still watching. Have you hit the like button in this video yet? Cannabis companies need capital for properties and facilities. But the thing is, traditional banks won't work with them. Why? Because of the cannabis. So this is another real estate company right here, IIPR. They actually buy properties and then they lease it to the cannabis companies. And this stock has been doing very good. And a lot of people think that PW is going to end up being like IIPR. But since we're talking about IIPR, let's go take a look at the chart and see what it looks like. So there's not really much to explain about this chart. As you can see, they have just been killing it down here to slows at about $18 and now it's about $108 and this is also having a nice little pullback as well all right let's shoot back over to the article real quick so PW in the future could be the next IIPR so another thing that I really like but you never know if they're telling the truth or not I can't really trust any of these people PW stated that it will limit its near-term dilution so this is good so you don't have to have that dilution in the back of your mind but I still have it in the back of my mind because I don't really trust anybody and the reason why I'm talking about dilution is just because of the share float value of it it's very very low but as of right now they said that they can use debt and not the stock price to expand the high yielding cannabis deals so we'll see what happens shared float 1.33 million very low which is particularly why this stock has been killing it lately target price is twelve dollars and eighty cents all right enough of this crap let's get right over to the chart and see what it's looking like all right here we're looking at the 10-year two-day chart just to get a huge picture about what's going on here so i had a higher on fifteen dollars this is back in 2011 it looks like we're gonna have resistance right around ten dollars boom there we go you can see the past week this thing has just been running right up here and then it consolidated a little bit zoom in here a little bit more so I had a nice little pullback for us. When stocks are running this hot, I always like to wait for the pullback to get in. You see the RSI is looking pretty good right now. It's down at the lower side. And there's not going to be any dilution going on anytime soon, so they say. But you can see it does have support here right around $8, I'll say. And that's what it bounced off today. So we'll see what tomorrow brings with it. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this swing trade here. So... If, hey, if you guys are new to that channel, make sure to subscribe. And come on, guys, don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out. Let's make some money.